our next guest, Justin Crawford, who has signed to play for LSU, a college baseball powerhouse. But of course, that is subject to change. He is the son of former big leaguer Carl Crawford. Justin, we appreciate you joining us. Thanks for the time. Uh, tell me, what are you specifically hoping to get accomplished there at the draft combine in San Diego? Everyone that goes there wants to do their best. But what specifically are you hoping to get done? Yeah, of course. Really, my my main goal out there to go over there to San Diego at the Combine is really just to kind of go and connect with different teams. I'm not playing any games, kind of shut down, putting the bat down right now for a little bit, for a little bit, just focusing on training. But really, my main thing is really just going out there, talking to teams, and just building more of a relationship with different with different organizations and GMs. Um, how much will you be working out? Will you be participating in all the drills, or has that decision not been made yet? Oh, I'm not working on uh, the drills there. Okay. okay, I'm kind of working with my own with my own trainer on my own right now. But really, I'm just going there, just kind of just to show my personality a little bit and get to get to meet these different organizations. Really, that's kind of my main goal yeah. and what and I'm gonna you, be doing out there. You have quite a personality. We were talking to you in the break. I would imagine being Carl Crawford's son is a wonderful thing, and it's a nice thing. Probably adds a little bit of pressure as well, a little bit of both. Justin, what do you think? Oh, yeah, most definitely. I think when I was younger, it really kind of had a lot of pressure on me because I thought I really had to be exactly like him. I mean, if you could ask my mom, I'll try to hit like him. I'll try to just do everything exactly, exactly like him. But really, as I've gotten older, though, and kind of just matured into the, the, the guy I am today, I've kind of been able to kind of break out of that and really kind of just build make and make my own path and kind of just show everyone that I'm, I'm my own person really so yeah how would you compare your game to his it's actually kind of funny because even though that i have broke out of that kind of not trying to be like him yeah. that's kind of ended up that our games are actually very similar <laughs> in a way <laughs> but um but yeah i'll say we're both very we're both elite really good elite hitters that could that could run with our with our base that could really change the game on both sides of the ball with our speed and so that's i think it's just really kind of funny like that how our game is both ended up just being really really similar <laughs> yo it's, it's funny justin it's hard to run away from genetics my friend mm -hmm. yes. and, and you have just that you know I've been watching your videos and your highlights for about the last two years I, I have a 14 year old son like I said and he you know he's been raving about you your athleticism uh, your power one thing I like that you just said is you know talk about being a pure hitter you know right now in the game that we're in you see a lot of swinging and missing but when you watch your highlights when you watch what you're doing on the field you're explosive you're a guy that can you know drive the ball around the baseball field you can lay one down what do you think is your best attribute your best tool right now uh, along with you know you being a, an advanced young hitter yeah, definitely. I would just say, honestly, my speed, just because I feel like it could really play on both sides of the ball with just my defense being able to track down the ball in the outfield and then on off and then on, on swinging the bat whenever it's just I could put a ball in play, put, put pressure on the defense, make them make a bad throw or get on base or it's legging out maybe legging out a triple that would maybe be a double. So I would just say my speed is just something where I'm really able to really just put pressure on different defenses and just be able to showcase that all around. Justin, it's so interesting you say that because we were talking earlier in the show about your speed and how you felt, Cam, that it kind of changed the game. It added an element. It, it, does it change the game for you, you think? Oh, most definitely. I feel like I feel like in today's game as well. I mean, it's kind of we're big on just the home run and all that. So I think really just bringing kind of bringing the speed back to the game. It's it'll be it makes the game a little more exciting. I think so. I think it'll be it's it's nice being able to kind of almost go back to that old school of baseball and bring a change and bring it kind of back to the game. Justin, you obviously grew up around major league clubhouses. Who are some current big leaguers that you enjoy watching that whenever they're they're playing, whenever they're stepping to the plate, that you've got to stop and watch what they're doing? Oh, uh, that's a tough one, but I, I think right now I'd probably have to say Mookie Betts. I just, mm. I love the way he is on the field and off the field. I just think he's a all-around genuine, good, good person. And then I also, I love D. Gorin. I love, I just, I think I love how he's very excited in the game and what he brings to the game. I also love J.P. Crawford. I love, there's, there's a lot of different players I love to watch, but I'll say my favorite would probably be Mookie Betts, so yeah. Oh, some, JP Crawford, a little, a little family ties there. I like what you're doing. I see you. You got, you got to show yeah, cuz. Exactly. You got to show cuz some love. I like that. I like that. Exactly. Yeah.
Well, uh, Jordan, we, uh, we, we, Justin, we appreciate you joining us here. Uh, be sure to say hello to our uh, network personnel that are going to be out there in San Diego, and we wish best of luck to you, and, and hopefully see you in the big leagues really, really soon. Of course. Thank you guys so much. You guys Thanks, have a good one. I keep balling. Be yourself. I love it. The thank number, you, thank you. The number 13 prospect, according to MLB.com. Boy, just a – you can tell that, one, that he has been around big leaguers, Absolutely. and, two, that he is used to playing – on the big stages, I mean, the perfect games, all these showcase tournaments, just a polished young man. Yeah, his, his maturity just jumping off of right? the screen, right? I mean, listening to him talk, his IQ, uh, you know, his energy, he seems like a really, really good young man. So you can definitely tell uh, Carl's done a good job uh, grooming him, getting him ready for this.